What's up guys, Sam here, and today I'm bringing a review of the Adidas Brown Gloves. So, you may realise that these are actually older generation gloves, but um, I've been using these for the past 3 or 4 years, and they've held up brilliantly, and I'm just looking to get a new pair of Spartan Gloves. But before I do, I really felt that these deserved a review, they've lasted me that long, and they've been such a good pair of gloves for me, that I just want to do a review on them, and then if anyone else can find a pair, um, you know whether you want to pick them up or not. So, let's get into it. So, with these reviews for the gloves, I'm going to be basing them off five things. Number one being the fit and support of the glove. Number two being the materials and the build quality of the glove. Number three will be the technology. Four. Yeah, four will be the padding and the punch feel of the glove, so the padding inside. And then number five will be my personal rating and my overall rating. So, start off fit and support. So gloves use a basic velcro strap, so pretty much standard. They do have some elastic on the inside to keep them together, so you're not literally doing all the support through velcro. They do it nice and tight, you can pull them all the way around. The velcro does actually sit flush into the glove, so they are sparring gloves, so obviously they're not to catch anyone. But in terms of fit and support, they fit actually really nice in your hand. they got the small little grip pipe, um, whatever you want to call it. It's quite a soft one, so you can squeeze it quite nice. Um, honestly, they fit really nice in terms of the glove. Only thing I'd say that would be different is maybe the strap, um, maybe a different method to do it up that could maybe tighten it a bit more around the glove. So I know Rivals obviously got their like Z strap, which tightens it at the top of the glove and the bottom. Something like that would be really nice on these. So I'm doing get it off. So in terms of fit and support around your wrist and everything. I'd give them a solid 3 out of 5. Now, you might think it's a low rating, but when you think of like the top end gloves, um, this is a cheaper glove. I think I paid around £50 for them. So, when you compare it to the likes of Rival and winning gloves, it's a lot, lot cheaper. So, 3 out of 5 really isn't a bad rating when you look at the price range. Next up, we have the build quality and materials. Again, um, basic synthetic kind of leather. Um, they do have some breathability down here. Um, but in terms of materials build quality, you've got a little bit of double stitching on the palm area, which you'd expect in most places, and around the inside of the glove up here. But other than that, everything else is really single stitching. And it's pretty much... It's an okay glove in terms of build quality. Don't expect them to last you forever. I think I've got quite lucky in terms of lasting on me this long. Lasting on me this long? That sounds weird. Um, them lasting me this long. Um, I do have a slight tear on the bottom palm here, just from use. It is a bit of an odd slash, but I mean, it's just from wear and tear you've been punching. I do not, I do not, I do not have the same tear on this glove, but it is starting to buckle a little bit. So, they will go eventually, um, depending on how much you're using them, obviously. Like I said, I use this almost every day for like, four, well not every day, but like, at least four days a week for the last three years or so, and they've held up really well. So build quality, I'm giving them, I'm going to have to give them a 3 out of 5. Um, obviously they're not great leather, they're not completely solid, but they've held up really well for the length of time I've had them. So giving them a solid 3 out of 5 there. Up next we have the technology. So they're pretty much a standard glove in terms of technology. Um, there's no special padding. I believe they've got Climber Cool, Adidas's Climber Cool on the palm. Um, doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Um, I really didn't find them that different to a standard glove in terms of breathability. The only thing they really have going for them is the sparring strap, which obviously sits in flush with the glove, so if you can see there, you're not going to catch your sparring partner, whereas some gloves the velcro stick out a bit. So that's a great feature then for sparring, um, for your partners obviously, so you're not catching them with the velcro, um, which has happened to me a few times and it does hurt and it scratches all down your face, it's, it's not very pleasant. So technology, I'm going to give them a it's going to stick again for the 3 out of 5. Um, they've tried, they've kind of done a few things different at the time. Having that strap down there was actually a great feature. Um, not many people were doing it. I know Ringside had the whole thing that rolled up and then rolled back down. That was a great thing around then as well. So, going to give them a 3 out of 5. Um, maybe a 2.5 out of 5 technology. They haven't done a whole lot. So, we're going to change it. 2.5 out of 5. Next up we have padding and punch feel. So the foam in these gloves is literally basic foam, um, it is sectioned, so after a while you do feel the bits of foam pull apart from each other in the knuckle area, which I've got to the point now. You do get some slight bubbling as well 
on the foam where obviously it's moving against the leather and it's rolling up slightly, you get more on the left glove. Um, here you can see like, like the bumps and things if I get it in the light. But saying that, the foam, in my opinion, is actually really, really nice foam. Um, I never had issues with my hands, um, especially with my knuckles. I've got quite small hands, so my wrists as well, they're quite um, feminine, so to speak. So having good patterns is really important for me, so I'm not hurting myself. And the pattern on these foams is like super, super absorbent. Um, literally really thick as well. So like the distribution and pattern, being a sparring glove as well, I thought you might see a bit more down here in the back of the glove. But um, honestly, they've done it really well. Nice thick pattern in the front. I've never had an issue. The one thing that I would say that kind of lets them down a bit is the right glove it was like 10 times firmer and still is than the left glove. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know if it's just a different type of foam they ended up using, um, different batch, so to speak. But the left glove, like you see, is really, really squidgy. And then good for the right one. And it feels so much more compact. Honestly, feels like a new glove in some ways. But again, I've never had an issue with them. They've held up really well on the padding. So the padding, I'm going to give a 4 out of 5. It's actually probably been the best feature and the reason why I've turned to these gloves so often and not upgraded. It's literally the padding. Uh, they feel good to punch in, heavy bags, um, people's faces, whatever it may be, these will hold up really well in padding in my opinion. So now when it comes to the overall, and going from what we've spoken about, about these gloves previously, um, I'm actually going to give them a 4 out of 5. Personally, these gloves have held up, as I've said, for about 4 years for me. Um, they've never missed a beat, I've always turned to these if I've had issues with my wrists or knuckles. The pad on has been great. They've held up well. Obviously, they've got some damage here and there now, but what do you expect after that amount of time? So, they are really solid glove. If you can pick a pair of these up, I would 100% do so. Just chuck them in your gym bag, or if you're looking for a pair of sparring gloves, use them sparring. Um, for the price that they cost, I really think you can't go wrong with these. Um, so, overall, 4 out of 5. Hope you enjoyed the review, and enjoy the rest of the training footage. See you later.
Thank you.